Hi, this is Joe. Today I'd like to show you how to install and run interactive stock charts for your desktop computer. First, you go to my website, um, Stimulator IS Charts Desktop. This is where you download um, the Java jar file and the installation instructions. Um, this program works on any computer with the Java runtime environment installed. Uh, the first step is to install Java uh, by going to java.com. And this program, uh, Java is uh, free and works in almost any computer, whether you have Windows, uh, Mac, or uh, Unix, uh, Linux. Um, this is why I made the uh, my application in Java platform so it can run on any computer. So now you have installed Java. You click download jar file, this link. And I'm using a Chrome browser. So all downloaded files go to the, the bottom panel. And Usually, it also goes into your download folder uh, if you're using Windows 7, uh, like here. And as you can see, it is installed here. After you download the jar file, you can simply click on the jar file and it should just open, like so. If it's your first time downloading the jar file, you will go to the help and activate license and enter the license key that you just purchased to activate uh, features that you have subscribed. Now, after you open the, the interactive stock chart, this is the main window. And this is where you enter stocks symbols, such as um, PRP and the stock symbol appear uh, on the table below. See, this is all the stock symbols I've opened, I've entered. Sorted by the t uh, the time you entered, and it can also be sorted by alphabetical, or by price, or by change. So let's just op uh, enter the symbol again. And you can see the last trade, change, percentage change, volume, and day range. If you just uh, double click on this uh, symbol, it will open a chart, uh, another window, chart window for you. You can maximize the chart window, scroll, show candle. Um, two tips. You can change the range, time frame, one year, daily, and there are a whole bunch of other options you can change um, in the chart window, which I will go into more details in uh, tutorial part two. Uh, of this tutorial. But for now, you can um, just look at the charts. Right now, I have the uh, trend reversal indicator displayed, as you can see. Um, these are the buy signals by reversal complete. So it, it shows this uh, indicator only shows up if it's one candle per day and or intraday time frame. Five minutes. Takes a bit. Time lag to update depending on your uh, browser speed. And you can go to settings which to change various appearances, also overlays and indicators. You, you can add SMA, EMA lines, parabolic, SAR, Bollinger Band. Let's see, add McGinley Dynamic, overlay one, 
Bollinger Band Overlay 2 and change the indicator to full stochastic and you can have two indicators right now let's just use one indicator and you can do apply you can also um, change a whole bunch of other more advanced um, details such as you can change the background color chart type let's see what O'Neill bar looks like Actually, let's see uh, high can ashi candle. And after you made all the changes, you can do a apply. Or up, if you want to cancel all your changes, you can just do a factory reset. After apply, you see the chart changes, the experience, and all the indicators. You select show up. And let's go back to the uh, main window for a second. Uh, portfolio view. Notice you have all these tabs. I'll go into the screener and the custom screener on the second part of this tutorial. But for now, um, it suffice to just show you the portfolio view and the settings tab. And you can save your portfolio or, op or open a saved portfolio or input the symbol list from um, another program. One little detail about um, Java, uh, a lot of uh, my students have problem running even to open the Java pro uh, program uh, is that I have written the tutorial uh, troubleshoot details here for especially for Mac OS X Yosemite uh, users um, there is a conflict as of uh, today April uh, 15 2015 um, there is still a problem between Mac OS Yosemite and a Java 8 conflict in that case you should go to the Java website and revert your uninstall your Java 8 if you already have Java and uh, also then reinstall previous version of Java 7 to resolve the problem and I have uh, links to uh, show you how to do it here. Um, another pro common problem uh, people have with, with uh, who, are, who are running Windows uh, computer is that after you download the jar file over here if you just click on open um, there is a conflicting uh, archive program that try to open the jar file as an archive. In that case, you should right click on this uh, and showing folder usually goes into the download folder. Here. The jar file you download usually goes into the download folder and if and you select open with and Java if you have a whole bunch of other programs listed here to open jar file such as WinZip or WinRAR that treats the jar file as an archive file then you should um, set the Java as a default to open jar file so that you can open this uh, my program uh, more easily in the future